Hey guys, and welcome back to today's video. So today we are going to be installing Chrome OS Flex on a laptop. So if you have an old laptop laying around that you want to turn into a Chromebook, this video is right for you. Okay, so first what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Chrome Web Store. So you're going to type in Chrome Web Store. The link's going to be in the description below. And then once you're in the Chrome Web Store, you want to search for Chromebook Recovery Utility. Chromebook Recovery Utility right here. And then you're going to click on that and then click Add to Chrome. And then it's going to ask you, do you want to add the extension? And you click Yes. And now the extension was added. So now you're going to just click this little puzzle piece right here. And you're going to click Chrome recover, Chromebook Recovery Utility. So now it says you'll need an 8 gigabyte large or USB flash drive or SD card that you don't mind grabbing. So um, we need, so you would need to, this would erase your whole storage. So make sure there's nothing important or like back up your stuff. So I have this USB drive right here and this is the one that I'm gonna be using. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in. And now we're going to click get started. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to select a model from the list. So we're going to go to Chrome OS Flex. So Google Chrome OS Flex. Don't click anything else. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So Chrome, Google Chrome OS Flex and Chrome OS Flex. Then click continue. And then we're going to select the, your USB drive. So mine is right here, it's called a general U-Disk. Yours will probably be different if you're not using the same branded one. So now it's going to create the USB recovery image. So we're going to click create now. So now it's just going to create and I'll be back when it's done creating. All right guys, so it, once your recovery media is done, it should look like this. It's success your recovery media is ready so now we're gonna just go ahead and click done and so you can so I'm gonna be switching over to a computer but you guys if if you only have one computer I have two if you only have one you could you could do you could do this on the same one you you're gonna do you you flashed it on so I'm gonna go get grab the computer I'm gonna be booting it on okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I got the computer, so now I'm going to go ahead and plug in this into the computer. So that's my USB drive. And now it may depend on which computer you are using. I'm using a Lenovo branded one. So for, to get to the boot menu, I only need to hold down FN and F12. So I'm going to go ahead and do that while it's booting. Okay, so now we are in the um, boot menu. So now we're gonna go down using the arrow keys to USB HDD General U-Disk. Remember, mine's called General U-Disk. Yours might be a little different. So we're gonna just go ahead and cl click enter to boot into it. And now let's hope this boots into Chrome OS Flex. So now we just give it a second. And so we're just going to give it a few seconds to boot. All right, guys, it is booting Chrome OS Flex. Uh, we just had to give it a few seconds. So, so it says Chrome OS Flex right there. And um, soon it's going to boot up into the um, setup. And then we're going to be able to install Chrome OS and turn this into a Chromebook. Okay, so the setup is loading. Okay, so now it says, welcome to Chrome OS Flex. So this is the Chrome OS Flex setup. It's kind of similar to Chrome OS. And so, and so, so you wanna, so you can try it out, Chrome OS Flex, before you just install it to your hard drive. I'm gonna install it though. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and click install Chrome OS Flex. Install. And now it's gonna be, uh, okay, so something went wrong and Chrome OS couldn't be installed. So we're just gonna shut this down and try it again. So I guess there's a problem with this. Um, well, we'll see. So it's just gonna go ahead and shut down the computer. Okay, so I rebooted the computer and that just fixed the problem. So if this happened to you where it, where it said you couldn't install Chrome OS Flex because of an error code, just reboot your computer because now it's just gonna install. So I'll be back when it's installed. All right guys, so once Chrome OS installs, it should look like this. So, we're just, so your computer is gonna reboot and now I need to do, select the Wi-Fi network. So I'm gonna enter the password to my Wi-Fi network. So hold on. All right guys, so I'm gonna put you on the floor for a second so I can do my Wi-Fi network um, and Wi-Fi password. So give me one second, okay? guys just give me one second okay so now that now it's gonna run the chrome os setup so it's getting the device ready and then i'm gonna use it for personal use and it's checking for updates installing the latest update okay so it's gonna install the update and i'll be right back when the update is installed okay so the update has installed so now we're gonna click next it rebooted my computer. Okay, so, um, let's see, can I s skip email? Um, okay, so it looks like I can't skip my email, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in really quick, so I'm gonna get, put you guys down on the floor again. Okay, so now I'm going to do the terms and agreements, accept and continue, I don't want to sync, accept and continue, create password for Chromebook, yeah, I'm going to do that, so I'm just going to enter a password, um, okay, so we're going to do All right, let me do the password again. Okay, so now we're gonna click next. Okay, so my password's set. Now it's gonna, um, okay, so I'm just gonna skip the personalization because I don't really need it. Oh, it looks like Chrome OS Flex now comes with Gemini. So Gemini is basically Google's AI thing. So I want, uh, nah, I don't wanna, I just wanna skip those and then get started. Okay, take a quick look. So, and okay, so look, now if you look at this, I've turned my computer into a Chromebook with Chrome OS Flex. So this is what it's gonna look like when you're all done with this setup and it's autom always automatically gonna um, um, boot into this. You don't have to change any boot options. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.